Since 1915, workers endured harsh colonial labor practices. They were not only dispossessed of their land, but were recruited by colonial masters to work on such farms. Black Namibians, especially from the north, were recruited in mines or fishing companies and their rights stripped away. They were kept away from their families in hostels called compounds, which had appalling conditions. A mobile exhibition at Valfis Bay has been launched to preserve the heritage and history of Namibia. The Finland Embassy is funding the Museum Association to document and showcase such history. The project supports research and development of new permanent and mobile exhibitions, including strengthening the cooperation between Finnish and Namibian experts. The exhibition brings back bitter memories, especially at Valfis Bay, but also illustrates the determination of Namibian workers to join the liberation struggle. In these cramped housing quarters, the dreams of a better future and equality became a reality. It is a history, a very bad history of our country. Uh, we have to remember and it has to inform our good future. It has to nurture us to citizens that are very responsible. Some compounds in the country have been upgraded and are used as business facilities for communities. The Valfis Bay municipality has not destroyed some parts and has the last remaining compound. The building is a historically suitable venue for a museum and the municipality plans to set that up to attract tourists and locals. Renata Rengura, NBC News. Wolf is Spain.